Good morning and welcome back to Community Site B. We're on the wild biosim map. As you can see right now in the background, I've decided that these are going to be my pets. I, I really like them because they kind of mimic, like in my heart anyways, flamingos because I can get the bright pinks on them. But anyways, we've got a fair few new additions to add to wild biosim today. And next week we will be going back to Operational Site B. So in the comments, let me know what you'd like adding. And even if you want to give them a name, let me know that. First up we have follow for follow, we asked for an allosaurus called Mary and here it is. I love how viciously they break out of the hatchery and just sort of like force the door open to get it into that like kind of freedom. Next up we have BVDH1000 who asked for the Baryonyx trio. That being Grim, Limbo and Chaos who I've added and uh, one thing I really liked about them is that they stayed in their trio for the entire time that they've been on the island. Every time I've sort of gone on the map to see where everything is when I was looking for getting like different shots, the trio was always like together which is really cool and as well I have given them their actual names as well so there we go. I hope you enjoyed that on BVDH. Next up we have Zombone and they asked for a herd of sauropods to hang around with the herbivores. Now, um, they didn't tell me which ones they wanted so I kind of just went on my own initiative here. I really do like the Jurassic World Evolutions like base Dreadnoughtosaurus. I feel like it's a really cool look. And one of the best things is as well, they actually met up with the Biosyn one that we've already got on the island and sort of stayed as a group for a while and then eventually they split up into two separate groups on the two main islands. It's kind of cool to see them moving around. Then we have Vibe Vatel who asked for a group of Struthia Mimus to camouflage in the rocks that grey colour. They look absolutely great, don't they? Sushma Bane asked for a flock of 15 Jailoropterus. Now, I did keep them around the main island where like, all the creatures are made because I'd have to put a lot of feeders around the island. So here they all are comfortable. Riley the Dinosaur Nerd asked if I, well, gave me a choice really and I picked Eurocephalus because I really do like Eurocephalus. They're a really cool looking Ankylosaurid and uh, I also put it on random colours so we've got a fair few different colours and they kind of split. I put them on the island that the Velociraptors decimated. Some have stayed and some have moved on to the main island. Our last one is Croc de Cure, who I know loves Pachycephalosaurus, and especially when they are green. So I've added a green with a blue pattern on, and I feel like they look really great. And I have no idea what was going on here. It just sort of glitched into the ground. When it finished the animation, it did pop out the ground, so I managed to transport them also to that vegetarian island right at the back of the map. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to put in the comments what you'd like to see in next week's video, which will be on the operational site B and yeah I hope you enjoyed these few shots that I've got off the island and life and death that's happening right in front of us.
Asset transportation underway. Asset in transit. 